believe I can do it and then maybe I actually won't get eaten alive. You can't even hit that one. How am I supposed to hit it? Oh, bloody hell, man. In my excitement, I appear to have lodged my bow in my shoulder. On this week's episode, we're going to be learning how to use the bow. Ugh, how do you? Right, okay. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. So sleeping on the bench was hard enough. This is torture, my back's killing me, my shoulders are killing me. Her constant bloody banging has been a nightmare. I haven't had a wink of sleep. Maybe that's why my knees keep giving out. Uh, ignore that. She did save our life when we were attacked by this skeever over here. She did provide a lovely cabbage stew. And we should be prepared for our archery lessons. Yes, ooh, exciting. So why don't we have a bit of breakfast and then get cracking, shall we? Angie, I am fed and... Angie, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. I am fed and watered and ready to attack the day. So let's turn this into a master hunter, shall we? You don't look very confident. She's like, no, I'd rather just beat this bit of metal all day, to be honest. Well, you've been doing that all bloody night. That's why I've had no sleep. I'm knackered. Come on. Let's go make an arse out of me. Is this what we're using here? A, a, a hunting bow? What hand? I suppose it should be this hand, shouldn't it? And it's a bit of this. The most delicate of touches. The most delicate of touches. See, I've already got this in the bag. It's not working. It isn't working. See, I'm making, I'm making archery jokes. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't work, Andrew. No, don't go away. I'll take it seriously. I promise. I'll take it seriously. I'll be good at this. Now, uh, I must warn you, I'm, I'm a wee bit of a danger <laughs> to others and to myself. The middle target. You're not going to show me how to actually do it. This isn't really... that that That's not a lesson, Angie. That's an activity. But I guess, are you grading me? Are you seeing what you've got to work with? Oh, right, here we go. Just, um... Just getting a bit of the stretch on. Wouldn't want to pull a muscle, you know. See, I've had a I've had a horrible night's sleep on a bench uh, with a woman banging on the walls the entire night. So I'm a wee bit stiff this morning. So if this goes awry, just know I'm not at 100%. Nice shot, right on target. I missed! <laughs> it was very close though, and obviously I'm running with a bit of a handicap today because of the sleep and because I'm me. I appreciate that you let me away with that one. Great no. Shot. Now hit the target to the right. I missed that one as well. What are you talking about? I'm beginning to think you're at it. You better not be charging me for these lessons. Oh, let's go with the side one. Yeah. Nice shot, right on target. It wasn't, I've missed every time. Don't patronise me. I missed all three of those. I was close, with a couple of them granted. The wolf isn't going to keel over and die just because I nearly hit it, is it? No, it's going to go off, thank you. I'm going to eat that man. I think she's just trying to boost my confidence. I need to be confident under pressure when, we're, when I'm being attacked by wolves and bears and saber cats and all the things I'll definitely be qualified to hunt after this session. Believe I can do it and then maybe I actually won't get eaten alive. Angie, do you ever just fire an arrow off the face of the cliff? <laughs> Watch this, I'm going to go down it in the Falcris and I'll already be a wanted man. Oh, Angie's getting busy with it. Did we kill as many as we could? If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, You've missed you that three times. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. Eight seconds? You took 45 minutes trying to hit that third one and you want me to do it in eight seconds. Eight seconds, no problem. I'm ready. Say the words. Go. Oh, I actually hit that one. Oh, I missed that one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm panicking. I'm choking. Bollocks. Eight seconds. Watch me do it in eight seconds. She couldn't do it in eight seconds. Come on, me do it in eight seconds. Where are all my arrows? Oh no. Time's up. Oof. Better luck next time. Time's up, you. Oh no, 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 sorry. So for God's sake, man. I've run out of arrows. Better luck next time. I, I, I would have got that if it wasn't for the fact that I ran out of arrows. One, two, three. Boom! Stop that! Don't stop it! You told me to do it! Hit it! You did it! I did it! Yes! 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 I did it! Master Hunter! Master, nothing's gonna stop me! I'm gonna go back there and kill all those wolves! Yes! Uh, oh, oh, what, what's what's, hap what's happening here? In my excitement, I appear to have lodged my bow in my shoulder. Now, Angie, I know you're incredibly impressed with what I did, and I'm impressed with what I did, but even more impressive, look! I can just pull my bow out and put it back and pull my bow out and put it back. 
uh, and put it back. And it's not lodged in my collarbone. So <laughs> we're making all sorts of progress today. Great job hitting those targets. Thank you very much. You surprised me with your speed and composure. Oh, oh you. <laughs> Oh, you speed and composure. Um, don't act too surprised, though. There, there is a line. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. You're going to make me hit that one that's 28 miles away. Try and hit the target way in the back. You didn't even try. You're supposed to show me how it's done. You can't even hit that one. How am I supposed to hit it? Oh, bloody hell, man. So the trick is to aim. <laughs> I think I got it. Angie, <laughs> did I get it? She's not even looking at me. I can't imagine why. Dinner time, supper time. I mean, it's all the same thing when you, you only have one meal a day, isn't it? If you're enjoying yourself so far, make sure to leave a wee like. Uh, it does the algorithm some good. Yes, I got another potato. <laughs> you better not be doing a poo. You better not fart. Been rough enough out here without you farting everywhere. Once we've sort of spent some time with Angie, um, we're going to be going to Falkreath. Leave a comment with, with some interesting stuff you can do in Falkreath and we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a bit of fun. We'll see what there is. Angie's told me it's a miserable place, but it does have the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. So we'll go down and we'll have a wee peek respectfully. We'll look at the graveyard respectfully because we know how YouTube <laughs> feels about vloggers mocking the dead. Let's not do that, eh? When I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in 10 seconds. You did it! I did it! Four targets in 10 seconds. Yes! Nice job. Yes! <laughs> Although I think I missed that third one, but shh. 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 That's between us. Oh. Now just to edit that to make it look like I did it first try. <laughs> I think I've taught you everything I know. You might even be as good as me now. Aye, right, listen, uh, you're obviously flattering me. Um, I kind of, you know, I'm not very good. But thanks for all your help. I do feel a lot more prepared now to survive out here and journey across Skyrim. I know it isn't much, but here, take this bow. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, you could have given me this before. This would have been way easier. Oh, let's try that. Wait a minute. Hold on. She was using a scope. That's cheating. N no. No. It's very nice, Angie, but um, the scopes don't seem to work. Not for me, at least. I can't really get this to work. Am I supposed to wear it like a pair of specs? Is that the thing? I can't hack sleeping on a bench any longer, so Angie has agreed, perhaps against her better judgment, to give me 10 iron arrows. And we are going to take the skills we've learned and put them to good use. We are going hunting. 10 iron arrows might not get me very far, but I'm starving and I haven't slept in days, so that's what we're doing. Let's go. So we now have a little bit of skill with the bow, which is good, which, oh, there's a thing. Uh, kill it. Kill it. Yes. No, don't you dare fall off the edge. Don't you dare fall off the edge. No, no, can you hear me? No, 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 no. This can't happen again. No. No. I'm going to starve to death. Right, okay. We could go round. Th this isn't over yet, as long as I don't f Oh, no. We're slowly slipping. But you know what? Slowly slipping is probably quite good. Right, we'll just be very careful. And maybe, maybe we won't die. How does that sound? Okay, no, that this seems good. I can do this. I can do this. We're going to eat tonight. And maybe even sleep tonight. Wouldn't that be a novelty? We'll go over to that rock. Down. Oh. You are coming back with us because we need to skin you and all sorts. And we're going to show Angie that we did it. We had barely left five minutes and we already caught a fox. Are you proud of me? It, it wasn't easy, you know, I, I had to hunt, I had to be really quiet. And it was quite the distance, I have to say. Your training helped me laser focus. What's a laser? I don't know. With pinpoint precision. One arrow, that was all it took. You don't know anything about skinning and butchering, do you? Right, well... Uh, if she's not going to teach me how to skin and butcher, I'll just teach myself. Anyway, there's a bucket there, so that's where we put all the fur and the meat that we get. Um. 
Andrew, can you help? I can't do this. I don't have the equipment. Do you have? I, I can't skin it. Yeah, you take it. You take it. That's my gift to you and a free bucket. Well, I might not be able to make a tent out of this bad boy, but it does make quite a nice pillow. So until next time, on our journey across Skyrim, love you lots. Good night. Oh. This smells like corpse.